Thanks for watching tonight. Well, if you travel 85 or 385 in Greenville County overnight, you can expect a few bumps in the road tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah, that's uh, putting it mildly. Thanks to the <laughs> next phase of the work of the Gateway Project, a lot of people's drives will be impacted by this. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay standing by live from this affected road and, and what drivers can expect. Scotty. Gordon, the old I-385 bridge behind me is set to be demolished tonight. So if you're a driver that drives this, this way right here, you may want to go ahead and add some extra time to your commute tonight and expect to be rerouted. I moved down here three years ago from Albany. And I think they were working on it then, and they're still working on it now. Bart Salerno says if he's learned anything since moving to the upstate, it's that road projects happen often. Traffic down here is worse down here than it is up north. I hate to say that. So when Salerno learned about the next phase of the Gateway project at the I-85 and I-385 interchange, he was less than thrilled. That's because the next phase will begin Monday night on a route Salerno travels every single day to get to work. I leave uh, Cherrydale at about 3 o'clock to get to Sam's at 4. I give myself an extra hour. A portion of I-85 southbound will be closed while crews demolish the old I-385 bridge Monday night. And officials are telling drivers like Salerno to expect detours both Monday and Tuesday, beginning at 11 p.m., lasting until 5 a.m. Sometimes I take that road at night. It takes forever to get five minutes. Or, or just a few miles down the road takes forever. Another driver, Chandler Kraft, says his sister will be impacted by the project. It's going to take her a, a good little bit to get from, from home to work and from work back home. All I-85 southbound traffic will be detoured at exit 51C to I-385 northbound. Then those drivers will take the Roper Mountain Road exit to get back on 385 southbound to get to exit 36B and 85 southbound. Probably either to get off a of Roper or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head down to Butler and just make a U-turn and come right back, you know, get off on, uh, on Woodruff. Now road officials are asking drivers to pay close attention to all road work signs, speed limit signs, and traffic patterns during these detours, both tonight and tomorrow night. In Greenville tonight, Scotty Kay, 7 News.